Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and today I decided to make a really quick video explaining how I think is the best way to learn ReactJS really fast. So I know there's a lot of videos out there explaining how to learn a language or like anything specific. However, I believe it's kind of different for React because React currently is one of the most in-demand technologies to learn. However, it's kind of different to learn a framework uh, compared to learning a language. If this video was, for example, teaching you guys how to learn JavaScript or Python, then it would be kind of different. I would just tell you guys to start doing some, uh, I don't know, some problem solving, learning the basic syntax, that kind of stuff, and then moving forward to doing some projects. However, when we're talking about something like React, it already expects you to learn some stuff beforehand. For example, I would say that it is kind of required that you know how to work with HTML, CSS, and there's even an argument that you might need to know JavaScript before learning React. But honestly, in this video, I will tell you my opinion on the, on the topic. I believe that you don't even need to know JavaScript. The reason for that is because React is kind of very different from any vanilla JavaScript project. I remember when I started learning React, I had just came from a, a point where I did a whole project using jQuery and JavaScript wasn't something that I was too good at. So if you know, if you have ever programmed using jQuery, which I wouldn't recommend nowadays, but if you've done that before, you would know that it's, it's, not, it's not even similar. Like it's very different from uh, using normal JavaScript. And still, I took the, the challenge, I put myself through the work, and honestly, it, it didn't take that long to, to learn React. So if I were to lay down exactly what you should do to learn React really quick, I would say the first thing is, yes, watch a video or two on the topic. I did watch videos, but I never watched a full on course because I find it unnecessary. And I know I have a course on React in my channel and I'm still saying that do it like, you don't really need to do that. You don't really need to follow every single video, despite the fact that it is good to start watching some videos in sequence from the beginning to a uh, intermediate point. So for example, if we would take my course in my YouTube channel where I teach you guys React Jazz from the beginning, I would say to watch into the middle, learn the basic syntax, learn the basics of how a project is structured and then just do stuff. Like immediately when I learned what a functional component is or when I learned how to grab stuff from inputs and how to, uh, I don't know, create states, then I move directly to creating a project on my own. But remember that if you try to, like, if you try to make a project that is too over your capacity, then you'll get demotivated, but still try to push boundaries. For example, the first project I, I built in React was a login page, uh, like a register and login page. It obviously didn't have any backend or anything. It was just asking for data in an input and then displaying if the data corresponded to something else. I have a tutorial about that in my channel, so if you guys wanna check that out, but that was the first project I did. Then I literally stopped coding on React. And the reason for that is because I try to do something too out of my capacity. I literally went from making a very simple registration and login page to trying to build a game. And I don't know why, because React isn't even known for building games. I just know that in a week I got demotivated, I stopped learning React and I just started focusing on different stuff. But the good thing is that that experience taught me a lot. When I came back to React, like a couple months later, it was really nice because I had, I already knew what, Re like I already knew a bit of React, like almost nothing, but I could, I could start, you know, I didn't need to watch that beginner, like uh, how to set up a project because I already knew the, the simple command, create React app, what a component was, that kind of stuff. And most importantly, I now had the will and motivation to continue learning. So what I did is literally I built a website. It didn't even matter what website I was going to build. I just told myself, I'm going to build something and I built it. Specifically, what I decided to build was my portfolio. And the website you see today, if you go to my website, machadopedro.com, that's my portfolio website. That is like a very enhanced version of the first well, real website I created with React. And you know what? The, 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 the reason why this time it worked was because I kept pushing myself. I kept researching. I didn't try to follow any tutorial. I didn't try to follow any Medium article. I just went on and thought about what I wanted to do and just searched what how to do it. I remember that despite not having that much logic, it actually, it's a portfolio website. There's no logic behind it. It was only like a pure design and that kind of stuff. It already took a lot of burden out of me because now I, I were able to create a real project. I was able to use routes. I was able to do many stuff that I had never knew before. And then I transitioned into starting 
to go to more intermediate projects. So even if you just know the beginnings of, for example, uh, functional components, how to work with states, what are props, also how to handle events like on-click events and on-change events, then literally you're set to do whatever you want. And obviously when I say whatever you want, I don't mean like building a full-scale application or even working with the backend because that's a whole different story. But I mean like if you can do that kind of stuff, then you're ready to just do a project you want to, like work on a project you want to work on. And if you have any questions, Google it or search on YouTube. I'll give an example. I knew the basics and now I wanted to build something more complicated. Let's say I wanted to build a to-do list application because even if a to-do list application is known to be like a beginner's project, it already teaches a lot of stuff. Then I knew how to work with states, I knew how to work with events, I knew what a component is, and if I had literally any questions, then I would search on YouTube. And the first YouTube video I found, I would just watch it a bit, and if I got what I, what I wanted, then I would stop watching and just try it on my own. Now that you're able to build projects on your own, then you don't need someone to keep holding your hand every time you're gonna build something else. I remember when I started learning how to code, even like, I'm not, I don't even mean React, when I started learning how to code at all, I, I had this problem where I was just stuck on tutorials. This is known as tutorial hell, where you're stuck in a place where you can't, like you understand what people are doing on tutorials, you're following what they're doing, but you can't build anything on your own. And that's a pretty rough spot, but honestly, you can get out of there really easily. Just put on the work on your own, and if you have any doubts, Google it. Now, I think it would be good to list some stuff that I believe you should stay away from if you're a beginner. And if you wanna maximize your, your efficiency on learning React, I would recommend staying away from, the, away from this stuff. Number one is anything related to global states. So like Redux and uh, uh, I don't know, like context API, like if anything related to state management, I would recommend not even touching that because like you should know that in the future, it's really important, but it won't add to anything in the beginning. Also, despite I, despite the fact that I added styled components to my tutorial series, that is a beginner's tutorial series, I wouldn't recommend focusing on that. It's more something like related to styling. So I would say that you need to, you could keep that further in your learning path and, and focus on the more fundamental things now. The third thing would be, basically learning all of the hooks. There's this misconception that just because you're learning React hooks, you need to learn every single hook. I would say that if you're a beginner, learn use effect, learn use state, and maybe learn use ref, despite not being like that useful for this point in your learning path. But those are the main three ones. Don't get close to like um, the other ones, like use context, or if you're going to use uh, try to learn stuff like use Mimo. Like it's not going to help you in the in the short run, and you can keep that to a more ad advanced level where you already know how to build some simple stuff. So I don't know if this video was really useful. I think that, in my opinion, I try to make it as useful as possible because I'm literally telling you guys how I learned React and how I I I think is the best way. Because honestly, I thought it was going to be a lot harder, and after like a few weeks even, I was already ready to build something if someone asked me to. It's not about learning everything before you start building, it's more about start building and in a way you start learning together with that. So that goes together with the, the fact that you don't need to learn JavaScript while we're learning React because React is something that uses JavaScript and if you don't know JavaScript, then literally it won't make a difference. I like to describe React as maybe, maybe like in a surface level, HTML and JavaScript combined because now you can like dynamically work on stuff and it's a lot more useful and more efficient and if you if you don't know JavaScript it doesn't matter because you will still need to learn a new way of using JavaScript if you already know JavaScript and you want to learn React so might as well learn both at the same time anyways that's only my opinion so uh, that's my recommendation. If it doesn't work for you, if it worked for me, but if it doesn't work for you, then it depends on the person. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys could uh, leave a like down below, I would really enjoy, I would really appreciate. So thanks for watching the video. If if you so thanks for watching the video. I would really appreciate if you guys leave a like down below and comment what you if you want to see more, like what topics that you want me to talk about or what tutorials you want me to make. 
I'm posting every single day. Like today is I'm posting twice. So it takes a lot of my time. I'm, I'm, I'm doing CS currently, so I have a lot of things to do. So I would really appreciate if you guys leave a like and comment down below and subscribe if you want to see more. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I see you guys next time.